rural Vermont, where the busy ski season should just be wrapping up. But news reports about the spread of the coronavirus convinced the owner of this vacation rentals company to shut down in mid-March. This is pretty darn real, and this is something that we have to take very seriously. Virus hotspot New York City is just a four-hour drive away. So safety came first, says Ellis, even though she could have rented to New Yorkers wanting to flee to Vermont. It's sad that there's people out there that desperately could have needed us, but um, for my staff, myself, and our local townspeople, we just are not set up for this. A huge economic loss for a state that makes $2.8 billion annually from tourism. Worry more about the tourism industry than almost any other. And there's a real uh, connection between that, the local folks in the economy and the bigger ski areas. Ellis is one of millions applying for aid in the U.S. Congress's $2 trillion coronavirus package. It's not a stimulus. It, this rescue package is really about keeping body and soul together. Restaurants and bars holding on with takeout deliveries, like this diner in neighboring New Hampshire, and curbside delivery to customers. It's also keeping a pet store, for your paws only, open. We are now open for curbside service only. Social media is getting the word out that this family-run business is still up and running, but that can't last forever. The, the length of how long this goes on is definitely uh, in the front of our minds. We, we have to plan, you know, with inventory and things like that, and employees. You have to plan six, seven months out. And we don't know what to do. We don't know how to buy. Major corporations in big cities are also dealing with the uncertainty of an unprecedented crisis. But the fear is personal for those with an entire business on their shoulders. What's really terrifying is um, at this point, people are not booking seasonal rentals for next winter season. The cost of the coronavirus high in these small towns where the margins for success have always been narrow. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Washington.